Hey friends, welcome everyone. And uh, this is uh, 1 a.m. of night, and still I'm making this video because just I found a very, very uh, interesting question. And when I get some uh, question like this, I cannot uh, stop myself uh, doing the video. Okay, so I'm making this video. So you can see this question is given in uh, CSI exam 2015 June, and you have given these four options. So the epoxy, so, so the condition is given as sharpless epoxidation condition, and I discussed about sharpless epoxidation condition in my other video. But this is not a straightforward question, and if you uh, if you get this question uh, first sight, you will be confused and you cannot answer. I am not saying that you cannot answer, but it is difficult question. And I myself was confused when I first saw the question, but then I uh, find out what will be the answer. Now um, I can represent the molecule. So this is the molecule given in the question, and I can. Uh, so they didn't specify the stereochemistry of this center. Uh, that means both isomers are given. So it can have two isomers. One is R and one is S. And I represent this B group by R. Okay, now uh, this is our uh, two possible starting materials R and S and as you see the uh, conditions given in the reaction is sharpless epoxidation condition but uh, to, uh, to find uh, from which phase the reaction will occur we have to first uh, draw our molecule in the prescribed format. So, so for that I have to rotate this bond uh, so that this OH group becomes planar to this uh, double bond this alkene. So that's why the confer confirmation, reactive confirmation of this molecule will be OH here. And now, if you rotate this, what you will get? So OH if comes here, this R group will be here and H will be here. So this is the reactive confirmation of this molecule. I can uh, write it as one. And if I rotate this one, so I have to rotate it like this. Actually, I have to rotate it like this. Okay, the same same direction means this OH group. I have to uh, so actually it should be like this. And in this case, this OH group will again come in the plane of the alkene. And that means so sorry for that. That means uh, you will get this OH here. And now. Uh, you have uh, this hydrogen above and this R group below. So these are the two reactive conformations which will uh, react in your um, uh, reaction, which will be reacting. So now, uh, now uh, when when we discussed about sharpless epoxidation condition, we have a mnemonic that if we have a alkene allylic uh, allylic alcohol if we have a allylic alcohol in this particular form then if we use minus debt or minus dipt it will attack from the above phase so if we use minus dipt we will get this product okay and uh, if we use plus dipt actually this we decide it will be not visible so i am writing here so if i use plus dipt you will get this product okay but you can see in this particular mnemonic we set this oh group at the left hand side that is if if we write this in this particular way, then only this this naming is applicable. But you can see in this particular case, it is opposite. That is this CH2OH group. This this allylic alcohol group is right hand side. So the naming in this case will be the opposite. That is in this particular case, that is uh, the when we have we write. So when we write our uh, alcohol uh, allylic alcohol like this, then the uh, situation will be reversed. If you use plus DIPT, then we will get it, and if we use minus DIPT, then you will get this. Some some uh, some people uh, remember this by uh, uh, remembering that some uh, D, 
one will attack from the re phase and one will attack from the c phase that is also applicable but i uh, prefer this one that is uh, when i uh, write this in particular way then minus dipt will do this and plus dipt will do this so what uh, is the conclusion is that in this question it is given minus dipt and that will attack from the bottom side okay so now we have to look at these two molecules so if you if you see these two molecules it means that in both of the molecules the oh group is this right hand side so minus when we uh, give minus dipt it will attack from the bottom side okay now you, if you uh, look at this particular molecule what you will see is that the bottom phase at the bottom phase there is a small hydrogen atom and in this case the bottom phase there is r group so the to, to attack from the bottom phase in this particular case is very easy and that's why this will give you this isomer okay so you will have here you will have r group oh group and here you will have h but you can see so the rule is that attack has to occur from the bottom phase but in this case the bottom phase is uh, not accessible due to the presence of this bulky r group so when you use uh, equimolecular amount of these two so you are using 50 50 of these two isomers so this is 50 this is 50 and your uh, re uh, reagent is limited so the reagent will choose only to the reactive uh, starting material that is the reagents will attack only on these molecule that is on this R configuration molecules and they will not touch this S1. So this will be unreacted. So after reaction only this will be converted to this and these isomers will be unreacted because the, uh, the sharp place epoxidation condition the, uh, the asymmetric environment is such that it cannot attack from the above phase but in this case the bottom phase is blocked by this R group and that's why the reagent can only attack from the from the bottom phase so these molecules cannot react and they will be uh, as in the starting material so we will recover this starting material and uh, this will be reacted to this uh, epoxide form so this is our a in the co as in the question this is a and this is b so i think the right so uh, the right answer which will be uh, in the question uh, which uh, which are given here is option a where only you will get this epoxide and this starting material will be unreacted so this is a very important concept that uh, in this case due to the presence of this bulky group the attack from the bottom phase is slower so if you don't know it uh, you cannot answer in the uh, examination hall because lot of pressure will be there so i think this problem is very interesting and uh, you it will be helpful for you so if you like this question then give thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and thank you for watching.